so I have a journal that I'm gonna be using when I go to Thailand and so I wanted to in laser engrave the word Thailand in Thai on my journal and so I I downloaded the font I uh, copied the word from the internet into Inkscape saved it as an SVG and now I've just opened this up in this K40 Whisperer software that's going to let me laser engrave this on this laser engraver right here. Just did a test run on this piece of cardboard so I can get the alignment right. And I want it to be about here. That's pretty centered, so what I'm going to do is just kind of make a little mark right there. So now I'm going to use these little arrows here. And you can see the laser is moving and I'm going to try to align it right over where that dot is. I'm just going to put this piece of paper in there for now to make sure that it's in exactly where I want it. I'm also a little bit concerned that because the journal is so thick, the laser focus won't be sharp enough. So that's another reason I'm putting this paper here. And I can see it flapping around with the fan in there, so I'm just going to tape it down real quick. I can just press this little test switch and real quick and I can see it made a black mark on the paper so it did burn it. I'm going to go ahead and do a test run here. Test run. I don't see any marks, so that probably means I need to either increase the power or the speed. So I'm going to try increasing the power. There we go. Now we're starting to get some marks on there. And the paper is catching on fire, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Okay. So we can see that it looks like that was out of focus. It's a lot blurrier, not nearly as sharp as the test cardboard was. So the laser is out of focus. And if I pull this off, here, we can see we didn't harm the journal at all, so we can try a different configuration. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get this thing down lower so the laser is focused. And it won't white fit in here so I'm gonna to have to take out this middle section on the screen real quick. It looks like I'm gonna to have to build this up somehow so I might stick some wood under here to elevate it up so that the journal is at the regular cutting level. Okay we got this thing in here and now the journal fits right nicely on there flush with the and I'm gonna to have to rotate this in Inkscape so we'll just do that Save that, open it back up. Okay. I'm just gonna use these arrows to line it up again. Okay, I'm ready to test run this again. So I cranked up the speed a little bit and turned down the power. So here we go. see it, so I'm going to crank the power up a little bit. There we go. I can already tell this is a lot more focused than it was before. Alright, that looks really good. And pretty, pretty dead on center it looks like. I think that's exactly where I want it.
Okay, so I'm not exactly sure how this leather material is going to respond to the laser. So I'm going to start out with a fairly light pass and we'll go from there. This is looking really good. Okay, let's check it out. That is gorgeous, wow. So I think I'm just gonna leave it that way. Now if you did something like this and it wasn't quite as deep or distinct as you would like, don't move your thing in here. You can run it through another pass, but as soon as you move it, it'll be misaligned and then it'll look really bad if you try to do it again. Well, it looks good enough. I'm willing to pick it up. Look at that. Very 